spectators and a guard. That's who was at this Little League game in Akron tonight. It's all because of this. Children playing in that same park, running for their lives after somebody started shooting last week. This happened in Akron, and now neighbors are demanding changes. News 5's Derek Waller live in Akron tonight, and Derek, changes are already underway. Yeah, the Little League team that plays here at Davenport Park has now hired private security, and the basketball courts here are now closed until further notice after a fight erupted in gunfire. Shots fired during this teen fist fight recorded on cell phone video. The chaos at Davenport Park last week happened right next to where the Barbie Bashers softball team are warming up tonight, now protected by a new set of eyes and ears. I feel safe. I, I'm super happy that this is happening. Nicole Russell sits on the Ellett Baseball Association board, which just approved spending money on this off-duty, uniformed Akron police officer to patrol the park weekday evenings. Just to ensure that, you know, we're doing everything we can for the safety of our children. Watching them run from gunshots is disgusting. Neighbors at this overflowing Akron City Council meeting said private security and a decision last week to close what some say is a secluded basketball court is not enough. Why isn't the park closed up at night? At dusk, it's supposed to be shut down. If you're under a certain age, your parent has to bring you and drop you off and sign you up. Others want to make sure the basketball court remains closed, but George Harrison disagreed. Instead, he said the city should invest in cameras and add police. But we have to catch the people who are making the parks unsafe. If we're not going to arrest anyone, then there's no deterrent. Russell agrees. They really do need to come in and step in a little bit and make their presence known. And no arrests after that disturbance last week. Tonight, Mayor Dan Horgan said he plans to present a community-based solution. A solution, he says, though, will not include closing parks. Live in Akron, I'm Derek Waller, News 5.